to another episode of Funko Pop Hunting. Uh, I had to go into work and I figured I'd make this at least like a fun trip, sort of. And so some of you guys may know, they've Targets have been coming out with the 10 inch T-Rex Pop and a bunch of stores in my area got them, but this morning I just didn't have any time to go shop around. And it says that this store might have some in stock. So I'm gonna drop by here and just see. So hopefully we get lucky. I'd love to get my hands on that and a Tom Riddle, which it says that there's one in stock, but that probably means that there's not one in stock. So we'll see if we get lucky. There is another store that I might check out, but I don't know. I wasn't really planning on pop hunting right now. It's just kind of a spur of the moment thing. So let's do it, yes! Okay, so no, no T-Rex pops out. I'm gonna have to ask them if they have one in the back. Okay, we kind of failed, but kind of not. They had them in stock, but they were like, we're not supposed to sell them until the 8th. So they wouldn't sell me any. So I'm gonna try one more store and we'll see if they're following the same rule or not. Hopefully not though, because that'd be cool if I could get one, that'd be awesome. All right, I'm not feeling too confident about this because it's already late in the day, but we'll see. I don't think they're gonna have any though. Oh, they have Tom Riddle. They have Tom Riddle. You guys, I'm so excited. They Okay, they have Tom Riddle here. That's awesome. I'm going to have to ask them about the T-Rex, but oh my gosh. Yes! All right, we didn't strike out completely because I was able to get Tom Riddle. There's one more store. They check inventory, so I'm hoping to see if I can get maybe lucky at one more store but we'll see it's already four o'clock so clearly people have already kind of like done their thing but we'll see if we can get lucky let's see fingers crossed fingers crossed all right here we go again let's see if i'm lucky probably not but might as well just try before i'm going home right all right guys if i've learned one thing from funko pop hunting it's always ask twice because when i went to the electronic session and asked if they had any the guy said no, even though I knew he had some because the other target told me that and I could see online. So I went to the customer service and they didn't have anyone to check or whatever. And then finally they sent somebody to the back room and he came back with three. He would only let me buy one, which is cool. Sorry, you guys can't really even see me, um, which is okay, you know. I'm gonna try to hunt for another one because this one's really cool. I think I definitely wanna open one and either put one up in my office or put one up, you know, at home. It's like super cool. I'm like super excited about it. It's really cool. I'll show you guys in a second what it looks like when I get home, okay? Yes, yes, success, success. All right guys, I quickly wanted to show you guys what I got from Target. You guys already kind of saw, but I figured we could do some up close and personal things. Um, I did pick up a Tom Riddle Pop. I actually picked up two of them because I wanted to potentially put one in my giveaway. I realized after I picked it up that this box wasn't the best condition, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys anyway. So this is the Tom Riddle Funko Pop Target exclusive. He's kind of like sepia, like he's not super colored like he is in the normal one. He's a little bit faded, kind of ghost-like. So that's what the regular one looks like. So he's a little bit off-colored. I realized after I bought him, I was like, what is, like, what's the point of him? Like, what makes him an exclusive? Because there is a Tom Riddle, like a regular one. But yeah, it's just that he's kind of like f faded a little bit. I don't know what you call it, but he looks a little bit ghostly. So this is a cool pop. I like I like Harry Potter, as you guys know, and I'm excited, actually. This is a really good set that they came out with. I'm really, really excited about it. I love how they have the, the Mandrakes and, um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm really excited to try to get Nearly Headless Nick. I don't know if that's a, is that a, um, an exclusive somewhere? I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and take Mr. Riddle out of the box so you can kind of see him. So there he is. Again, you can kind of see that his colors are faded. I want to say in the regular pop, his, just everything, like his robe is black instead of this kind of like brownish tan color. So he's a cool pop. Nothing crazy. Um, I just, 
I was actually Funko Pop hunting for this bad boy and um, the Target that I went to just happened to have him. So I was like, oh, perfect. And then there's also going to be a Basilisk from, it's a Target exclusive, and then a, a 10 inch Dobby. Dobby, 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 Dobby. Probably going to take a step back on all these 10 inch pops. I don't have, right now I don't have the space for them. But this is the one that I was, I've been waiting for for months now. Ever since they released it, they were going to get it. Uh, I'm still on the lookout to try to get one more to... Uh, so I could have one out of the box because this one's one of those ones like I want one in the box I want one out of the box kind of like pork. You know what I mean? If you guys kind of saw I don't know how much I talked about it, but I, I, I Definitely ran into some tricky tricky target peeps uh, You guys know that there's all the online websites that you can kind of track how much inventory stores have The first store I went to said that they had seven and I was so excited and I went there I was like that's kind of too good to be true But when I went there they were like, oh, I'm sorry we can't sell these. It's not released until July 7th, so we can't sell them. And I'm like, what? All the other Targets are selling them. Then they told me a store that said they had inventory. So I went to that store. It said they had three in stock. When I went there, they're like, no, we don't have any. Sorry. Like, the guys behind the counter were like, yeah, sorry, we don't have any. And I was like, really? So then I thought that was weird. So then I went to the next one who, uh, it said they had a couple in, or it said they had, they had three in stock as well. And I asked the first guy and he checked. I gave him the DCPI and they were, he was like, no, sorry, we don't have any. And then I went to customer service. Service, and I was like, hey, can you look to see if you have this in stock anywhere? Um, and I gave them the DCPI, and I had to wait a little bit, but they finally went back, and then they pulled out a brand new box of three of these. And I was like, okay. So um, for those of you who do pop Funko Pop Hunt, don't just ask like somebody on the floor to look up on their little like scanner thing, because one... I had two targets I think had them in stock that were just like blatantly like no we don't have them and ask them to check the back especially if you really think they have them in stock and just you know make sure you ask a couple people because that's happened to me a few times with Target and like a lot like it actually happens a lot and a lot of you guys say that there's Target employees who kind of hoard things I am not. I wouldn't be surprised if they do that but I feel like in this day and age with the way the inventory shows up online they should be very careful about that because whatever anyways when I tried to buy two he said no, sorry, one only. And I was like, that's cool. I'm excited that I got one. So here is our 10 inch T-Rex pop. I like want to show you guys the box is taped, but I think I might cut this open and show you guys and I'll put it back. But I want to be very careful with it for right now, since I only have one. I'm super excited about this pop, you guys. I'm like really excited. It's like a really cool pop. Oh, oh sorry. I didn't show you the rest of it. So this is technically from Jurassic World. So this is from the new movie. It's not a, It's not from the original Jurassic Park movie. But all of these dinosaur movies, I mean like like all of the, the sequels, it'll always be Jurassic Park to me. I love Jurassic Park. I, I like the new movies, they're okay, but my heart will always be with, with uh, you know, old school Jurassic Park. Now, oh my God, he is so If you didn't watch my last video, this guy's gonna look so cool in my... Yeah. You guys, look at this. Look at this. Yes! Of course, he's not as cool as Porg. But he is super awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at him. They even put little, like, grass on the base, which I love. So here's our 10-inch T-Rex pop from Jurassic World. This is such a cool pop. It's been popping up at a lot of targets recently. Uh, you should definitely check it out. And I'm sure eventually they'll probably put this guy online, but right now he's not. Usually they release in stores first and then they um, become available online. I don't know if he's as hot of a commodity as Thanos and Porg. I feel like there was more of a rush to get him. Um, just kind of the fact that a lot of stores still had him, I think, when I went I went at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so uh, that was surprising to me, but I'm still excited, and he's a really cool guy, and yeah, this is definitely one of those like really cool ones that I want to put in my office, but I got to get my hands on one more, so house, office, house, and office, he's cool enough for that. Same thing with Porg, um, now between the two, I will say, and Porg is hard to move now, you guys, look at the lean on this Porg, let me just show you guys, oh gosh. Oh my god, I stepped, oh, oh my god, I like, my Funko Pops ended up being stacked on him, I didn't realize. Okay, so here's Porg, and the one thing I want to say about Porg, he's very leany as you can see. Look how far, look how much he leans now. <laughs> um, between the two, 
I really like, well, I like both of them, of course, but obviously you can tell with the amount of material that Porg obviously is a little bit thicker and he has a little bit more oomph to him, but I, st I like the skinniness looking of the T-Rex with the big head. So I like both of these. They're really cool. I love 10 inch pop shoes. I love like oversized things. I like smaller versions of things, but I also like oversized version of things. I hope that they really don't come up with too many 10 inch pops because they're probably making a killing off of it. But honestly, like, I don't know how people have the space for all of these. He's like hanging off the bed now. Hopefully the T-Rex doesn't have any kind of leaning problems with his head being so heavy. I don't think he will because his feet are like glued down to the base. Like he's on the base. And then there's the base, so. This is a very cool pop, I'm so excited. And that's it, I just wanted to show you guys that my Funko, my uh, I ended up having to go to work and that's why I was like, oh, well I might as well go Funko pop hunting now just to make it a trip, so it was, you know, there was some purpose to it, but. All right guys, uh, that is all I have in this video. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, if you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. I have no thumb, so I can't do it with my hands. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. Oh, I said that wrong. Oh my gosh, I the spiel. The spiel is all screwed up. Uh, let us know down below what you guys think of me. Rawr. Do you guys think I'm cool? I'm pretty freaking cool. Do you think so? Yeah? Huh? 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 Did you get me? Huh? Rawr. Dinosaurs don't talk, right? Anyways, uh, let me know down below if you got one of me, what you think of me, do you think I'm cool? I'm pretty cool. I'm, I'm cool. I like him. I like myself a lot. Uh, don't forget, if you subscribe to this channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or such a private, you will make it on to our thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. And before we go, we must do the video shout out. I really like him. I'm so excited, you guys. Today's video shout out is gonna go to Console Game Thailand. Console Game Thailand, thank you so much for watching and commenting and supporting this channel, my channel. We appreciate all of your support and we wanna give you the video shout out. So, shout out to you, Console Game Thailand! Shout out to you! Alright, guys, I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you guys next time. Bye!